All right, the next thing we're going to talk about are De Morgan's Laws. And De Morgan's Laws are pretty much just the way in which negation, conjunction, and disjunction all work together. So the first law is that if you negate an and statement, you get not P or not Q. In some sense, the not distributes over and the and turns into an or. And then the other one is that the negation of an or statement does a very similar thing, becomes not P and not Q. All right, and those are De Morgan's laws. Now, I'm going to prove number one and allow you to prove number two yourself since the proofs are pretty much identical. And we're going to do this proof by a truth table. So I'm going to consider the truth values for all of the following. P and Q, not P and Q, and not P or not Q. All right. And we're going to allow P and Q to vary. So there's four possibilities, true and true, true and false, false and true, and false and false. Okay, now let's fill this out. So if P is true, not P is false. If Q is true, not Q is false. If P and Q are both true, P and Q is true. And therefore, its negation is false. Since neither P, not P or not Q is true, this is false. All right, so we're off to a good start because this and this have the same truth value. Next one, if not P is true, Sorry, if P is true, not P is false. And if Q is false, not Q is true. This is gonna be false. This is gonna be true. And since not Q is true, at least one of these is true, and so that is true. So we're off to a good start again. Now, you could go and fill this row out, but this row is pretty much symmetrical to this. Like you're only changing the variable. There's no, there's no place in there where the order matters, so this is going to be exactly the same, except it's going to be flip-flopped. True, false, this will be false, this will be true, and this will be true. Okay. In this last line, if both of these are false, then their negations are going to be true. The and statement is definitely going to be false, and the negation of it will be true. And if, of course, both of the negations are true, then the or statement will be true. And so you see that in every instance, you get that these have all the same truth values, and therefore they are logically equivalent. So for any possible combination of truth values of P and Q, these will always agree, and therefore they are equivalent statements. And that's De Morgan's Law.